Good morning, everyone. It's a big old snow day here. Come on, Sadie. I want to capture you, Sadie. Get out in front of me. Um, what we're going to be discussing here today is motive. We always want to ask the question of why would summer come up missing? Who would benefit from summer going missing? Now, we have searched these parents inside and out. We still got a question about them. But uh, there might be other characters in this. And, uh, you know, who knows? They may or may not have uh, helped Candace cover it up and Dawn. Or they might have done it on their own. Now, what would motivate someone to insert themselves so heavy, so very heavy, in search for Summer Wells? We've got a neighbor, Jody Sue, that has inserted herself in every chat, channel hopped, basically lives on Facebook Lives, and she does tell just as much as Don Wells when it comes to Summer and her disappearance. And, uh, you know, every time something new comes out, every time something comes out, she's right there, boys. Right there. Also, there you are, Sadie. Uh, also, damn, it's cold. Uh, she defends Andy. Now, Andy is the same one that uh, Fred Hill talked about. Andy and uh, Jody Sue was the same one that Fred Hill talked about that uh, she didn't give at first permission to search their property on account of the dogs. And uh, also, Dave Rader on Duty Ron had said someone come off the hill there close to the home and they was just acting real weird and squalling and hawking and said they was gonna kill themselves. Was that Andy? Too many things pop up. Now I'm gonna play you something. It's a video from a little girl named Crystal. And I'll link her channel in the video. But the full video of uh, all this is on old Squall Tits. You can look up her channel on this video. And you tell me if Jody Sue had any motive for a little five-year-old missing girl from Hawkins County to come up missing right across the road from her. She sure was awful damn mad about that land. Sure was. Well, see you there. And then she moved him from the fucking goddamn city. And you think, oh, look at this beast and this perfect and it's the country. No, you're taking my shit the fuck away from me. Because that's too goddamn close. I don't want neighbors. The neighbors I have are already too goddamn close. Like, I fucking hate it there anyway. The point is, and they're not that close by most people's standards, I don't fucking like it. So, you may be coming from the fucking city and thinking, oh, this is country. No, it's not. You're fucking invading. You're ruining my shit. That ain't country to me. That's you fucking invading. You're too goddamn close. Back the fuck up. Go find some other goddamn holler that has 40 acres and you're close the fuck off and not near me. Regardless, these dumb Yankee sons of bitches bought it, thinking country, did not come look at it, and if they did, box. but here's the thing, these out-of-towners, what they're doing, is they're being brought in here, because nobody locally is stupid enough to move into fucking Beach Creek in somebody else's fucking yard, because they know they can die, and end up in a bunch of HOA, and that's how you do it, you push, it ends up exactly what the fuck you left, you end up pushing the people out that are on these tracks of land, say like his, for hundreds of years, okay, and that's some horse shit. I don't get down with that. Go find somewhere else. There's all kinds of places off fucking grid that don't have that same problem where it's not going to 
break up these giant tracks and you could live free for more than five years. Because these out of, out of towners and staters keep coming into this motherfucker and doing what they're doing right now and paying as much as twenty plus thousand dollars for two acres. We're all hit down here. Our taxes are going to be astronomical. Fucking done with it. Point being, um, if you're from out of state and you happen to be watching this, take your friends stay the fuck home. Go somewhere else. I have friends that we were going to buy the property off of just a few weeks ago because they were going to move for $20,000. Had a house. Had buildings on it. Uh, close to 20 acres. That way nobody else could move into the holler, okay? Because I don't want that. I don't want fucking neighbors. These dumb motherfuckers here just spent that on this unusable piece of fucking property. The light hauler, in case some of you on Beach Creek aren't aware yet, we've been going through this past few days, I've discovered most of the goddamn second light haulers for sale. So, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I can see somebody dying over some shit like that uh, real easy. And we all know how my road is about, you know, people and property and shooting people in the throat down there. So, I was having a good fucking laugh about what dumb out-of-staters. I mean, and good luck to them. Good luck to them. Because, I mean, I know what's going to happen. But, I feel this situation is going to get a little fucking sideways. Oh, man. Uh, anyway, whatever. Even if somebody does build their good fucking luck to them. You want to live beside me? So be it. We'll play that game. We'll play that game. And, uh, I ain't going to be there for long. I about guarantee that. So, once I realized what the fuck's in there, realized that the quaint little, oh, 15 minutes from Kingsport means uh, if you hurt, you better hope you know the road's well enough to drive them at 150 to get to the fucking hospital. Uh, means 45 minutes to two hours for cops. Cops that show up and will tell you that they are not getting out of the car at fucking dark. You know, that left you if you get shot in the fucking neck because you want to be a dumb motherfucker on property. Uh, not mine, I'm just saying down the road the shooting, his cousin, all that shit two years ago. I mean, I literally watched them kick, you know, casings into the creek and laugh at these motherfuckers. And let me tell you, the motherfuckers really did deserve what they got. First and last time we're going to talk or be neighborly and I don't care if they're fucking dying or screaming or I hear a murder take place. I'm not coming over a fucking fence to help them so they better learn how to fucking drive out of Beach Creek to, you know, host a valley where there's no trauma centers anymore and they got to be flat lifted there from John say I just, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I mean, good fucking luck to him. All I can fucking say. So, I have a feeling this is going to be a shit show. I'm going to stand back and watch it. Because I guarantee you, any buyer that shows up for that motherfucker is going to be heated. And stuck in somebody's... I mean, that's literally the ass crack of our yard. We can't even use it. Like, it's not used, believing by us. So, good fucking luck to him. I don't... <laughs> Fuck out to tell them, and I hope they ain't got children that wanted a yard, because, uh, fuck that. And I dare one of the little bastards to stick a toe in mine. That's how I'm gonna play it. I'm not fucking around. So, anyway, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't even like other people's fucking kids. Like, that's the thing. I don't wanna hear it, goddamn shit. I don't wanna hear fucking kids screaming and crying and boo-hooing. I will lose my goddamn shit. I cannot fucking hate. So anyway, mine are different. I, I feel the instinct. Other people's, I just want to shake them to death. So, and then I guess if we have kids, it's even better than I ever was that their kids are going to fall off the goddamn cliff. Think about that. What's going to happen? They have nowhere but that cliff. They're, they're poor kids. They try to let the door and they're off the fucking cliff. I don't know. Welcome to hell. This is our nightmare. I guess it's going to be theirs too. <laughs> Y'all hear that shit? You can find all of that on uh, Crystal's Crime Time. And the full videos of right before Summer got missing um, from Squall Tit on her channel. Uh, talk about motive. Damn. Damn, Jody Sue. Damn, girl. You mad. You little mad. One more thing, Jody Sue. It wasn't none of your damn business who bought that fucking land across from you. It wasn't yours. You hell, it wasn't even Andy's. It wasn't even Andy's family. Hell's far, you ain't even married to him. What fucking business was it of yours in the first place?
Huh? Oh, how handy for a little five-year-old girl to come up missing there, huh?